everyone, I'm Sandrine and welcome to New Diary of a TV Addict. Today I wanted to talk to you about my relationship with The Mentalist. Did someone say mentalist? Amerg, this is not your mentalist video. Are you sure? Yes, get out! Get oh, out. I, I, I have things get to out. say! Until next time, bye! <laughs> Alright, now that we're alone, I can finally tell you about my history with The Mentalist. The truth is, I don't watch The Mentalist on a regular basis. And it's not that I dislike the show, I'm just not big on procedurals. But I have a really weird relationship with The Mentalist because I have seen the pilot episode and then I maybe watch the second episode, but I kind of give up on it. However, I am very aware of the Red John storyline and I'm very intrigued about this whole thing so what has happened over the seasons is that i'll watch some random episodes that are red john specific like especially the finales because i'm like oh i need to know what happens to red john so when they had that episode where he was gonna kill red john or where he thought he killed Red John, I had to watch that episode because I'm like, oh my god, are we gonna find out who Red John is? And even though I don't watch the show, it's like, I'm totally obsessed with this. I'm way more invested than I should be for someone who doesn't even watch the show. So I watched that episode, I was so excited, I loved it. And then I watched the premiere episode for the next season and I was very upset that it wasn't Red John after all. And then, last season happened and that final episode and they're like we're gonna reveal seven suspects I'm like I totally have to watch this episode too because I need to know who those suspects are so just imagine me who knows pretty much nothing about the mentalist is like watching this final episode as they're revealing those seven names and probably every fan around the world is like oh my god this and this person oh I knew he was on the list and all I could think was like so of course, what did I do? Because I kind of want to know a little bit about the suspects. I had to ask Americ a little more about it and I watched his videos and I was like, I'm loving this. And I've been really invested in trying to figure out who out of the seven suspects is going to be Red John. And I've been reading all these spoilers, all these things about this new season and about how they're going to find out who Red John is at the end of this year. And at this point, I'm like, I have to watch this season. Like, I have to. This is just, I just know way too much about this show not to be following it. And I really want to know who Red John is. And they're talking about they're going to eliminate one of the suspects in the first episode. So I'm like, well, that's it. I'm totally watching this now. I'm totally watching it. So, yeah. So just, just you know, one more show to add to my, like, hundreds of show lists. No be. I can totally do it. So that's all I wanted to share today. You mentalist fans. How are you dealing with this season? Are you excited that the Red John storyline is coming to an end? Any advice you have to a mentalist newbie? Like, how should I approach this mentalist watching? Because I just, you know, anything I should do, anything I should know. Yeah, let me know. Of course, if you want to continue this mentalist conversation, you can always find me on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. All of this to say that I'll be watching The Mentalist this fall. It took me five seasons, but I think I'm in. I want to know who Red John is. I want to know how it all ends. I, yeah.